Hello and welcome to your 10th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.6. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add a custom smelting recipe and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about how to add a custom crafting recipe. So um, I'm going to create a method that I'm going to call that's going to initialize all of my crafting recipes. You don't have to do this but I like to for the sake of organization. I'm just going to call it crafting recipes and then have um, it right under my load method public void crafting recipes like that. Um, you don't have to do this you could just put all of the code that goes inside this method inside your load method and it would work just fine. I like to um, because I like to be organized and to be easily able to find stuff. Um, but now let's actually add the code that creates a crafting recipe. And the way you do this is game registry dot add recipe new item stack. And then here you want to put the item or block that you're going to be creating. So in this case it'll be block dot diamond dot block diamond, um, but you could put item dot anything or anything that you've declared in here. Um, so then, if I can select this correctly, after that we just say comma, new, object, brackets, and then curly parentheses. If you know what those are called, please let me know in the comments. I actually don't. Um, but now I'm just going to send these down the line and we're going to add some code inside of this. Um, now the way we actually set up a recipe is we're going to add three little um, strings and these are going to represent the three rows of the crafting table. Now inside the string there are we can put um, say if I put TTTT -t -t, or TTT -t, T T T and T T T, then these represent the three columns. So we have three rows and three columns. And that's how you were you would declare a recipe. Um, but we've declared our recipe, but we haven't told Minecraft what each character in this recipe represents. So now we need to underneath this line create um, a character, so char t, and remember with a um, character you want to use quotation, or not quotation marks, apostrophes instead of parentheses, and then comma, and whatever it is, so in this case tutorial ingot, and then you add a comma after that. Now if we wanted to say have um, our diamond block recipe need a piece of coal in the middle, I can change that to a c, and then go down here and say c is item dot coal. Um, and so you can have up to I guess nine different in, um, r ingredients in your recipe. Um, if you wanted to make it so that you only need to say have one row that has coal and tutorial ingots then you can just do it like that and no matter what row we put it in it'll um, create a diamond block. So I'm just going to run this to show you that it actually works. Um, I don't want to give you bad code because then you would get mad at me. No I, I don't want to give you bad code because I don't want you to be confused. Um, but you'll see that if I just put it like this no matter where I put the row, so long as it is a row, it'll give us a diamond block. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm not quite sure what I'll talk to you about, but I can guarantee it will be something. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.